All right, happy Independence Day. I'm actually um, telling you in advance, even though it's July 3rd, because I'm actually filming this at like 7... Uh-oh, is it Bald Eagle about to fly off? I was just bothered by that red-winged blackbird. Usually this Bald Eagle isn't so, like, uh, talkative, like when it does that. When he got leaves in the way. There we go. Okay. Mmm. Dang it. Shoot. Alright. Um. Yeah, so there's the red winged blackbird right there. Okay. So you can see it's kind of circling this bald eagle right here. So what eagle is that? Oh, that's the female. Yeah, that's the oldest one. Yep. Yeah, this this bald eagle here has been in this area since 2008. Yeah, so um, she's more than 11 years old. Cause yeah, she built this. She built a nest in 2008, and then it came crashing down in 2015. Here comes a train, and then she had to build a new one. So what happened was, oh, so sorry about that. So what happened was, um, she built the new nest, and uh, now she has one eaglet in the nest right now. Yes, everything's all good with the nest. Uh, just the focus is just really, really bad. Well, that's about as good as I'm going to get, I guess. I don't know if this bald eagle's talking to the blackbird or if he, or she's talking to the chick. But it seems like this bald eagle's really bothered by something. Maybe she's just really cranky today. She's trying to warn the blackbirds that they are close to the eagle's nest and they're not going anywhere. That's what she's trying to say to, to them. So yeah, so, t so tomorrow's Independence Day, so just want to tell you in advance, happy Independence Day. And to celebrate this great nation that we live in, why don't we film the majestic bald eagle, our nation's national bird. Yes. And, you know, um, I decided to go hiking since... Uh, since I have time to do so after work, I always go like right after 5.30. Although we stayed until 6 today because we're working overtime in preparation for Prime Day. And this, this, this thing's not working out very well. I have to really like tilt this thing. Yeah, I can hear the bald eagle chick in the nest. Mm. So you can see where I'm at right now. All right. So let me uh, let me show myself here. And on my shirt, you can actually see a bald eagle. Yes, this is my bald eagle T-shirt, and it says on the bottom here, American Icon. Yeah, this is a outdoor life shirt right here. All right, and uh, basically, uh, I figured I'd wear this for Independence Day. Now, tomorrow I actually have another bald eagle T-shirt that I'm going to be wearing, and you'll probably like that one just as much as this one. All right, so let's turn the camera back to the bald eagle again. All right, I just have to, yeah, I just have to do this here. 
So what I need to do is just get it at just the right spot here. Yeah, I do apologize for the focus coming in and out, but there is a tree leaf in the way. And this is the absolute closest that I was able to get. And the biggest problem with this tripod is it's not a very good tripod. All right, well, I do want to zoom out a little bit. That way you can see its talons. Well, you want to see, well, not that, but, so it is the banded one. So that means it is the female. Yeah, to think that this bald eagle has been here for 11 years. And that red winged blackbird is plain mean. Like, like it just keeps coming around that bald eagle. It's just bothering it. But I can hear the other bald eagle responding to the mother. Yeah, what I need to do is... Okay, there we go. So there's the chick in the nest making its calls. And then the bald eagle will respond. Okay. And you can see that she has her beak open, which means that it's very hot out. That's how they keep their body temperature cool. Instead of sweating, they pant. So you can see that bald eagle has her tongue out. See, once again, see, she looks up. And actually, the spot's not that great. Um, and I'm the same distance from the bald eagle anyways. See, anytime there's birds that fly near, he makes a sound at them. Or she makes a sound. Sorry about that. I meant to say she. Here comes the train. So I noticed the red-winged blackbirds aren't coming too close to this bald eagle. So I'm going to try to keep it like right there. Let's see, am I out of optical zoom? Yeah, I'm, I was out of optical zoom, so I'm now digitally zooming it slightly. Yeah, so I think I'll just keep it at this spot. And then I'll check to see if those, those red-winged blackbirds are around. Uh, yeah, I believe I do see one. And it's right, if you look very closely, it's right about... Mm, yeah, I thought maybe there'd be one right there, but I guess not. So the subject is right here. I just have to be very carefully when I zoom in because um, because uh, it does come out of focus very easily. All right, yeah. So there she is.
Beautiful bald eagle right there. The day before Independence Day. So I'm trying to tilt this up just a little bit here. It's not quite working out as well as I had planned. Oh, and okay. So what I'm going to end up doing is for the last 15 minutes, I'm going to start filming the bald eaglet, eaglet nest. So it seems like those red-winged blackbirds are leaving this bald eagle alone now. Now this bald eagle just flew in, okay? When I passed this bald eagle, she wasn't there, but as soon as I started to approaching the area where the nest is she came over here I don't think it was because of me I don't think this bald eagle can see me it's just by some some lucky moment she just happened to come onto this tree branch shortly after I had walked past it So you can see that she's preening herself up here. Let's take a closer look at that. Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh, is it happening again? Yeah, those red-winged blackbirds are trying to dive bomb this bald eagle. Yeah, I don't know, like, why the father is, isn't so, like, the father is, like, very calm when the red-winged blackbirds attack it, but the mother is a lot more aggressive. So I guess that means that she's doing an extremely good job at protecting her nest. I can imagine with her being as hot as she is right now, it's those red winged blackbirds are just causing a lot of stress on her. So now I know why she's calling a lot. It's not because that that she found a meal or anything like that, but it's she's being regularly dive-bombed by red-winged blackbirds. No matter where she is, she just can't seem to avoid them. But she's obviously figured it out after all these years, but the red-winged blackbirds can never seem to get it. Just such a shame, right? Nature is just a very complicated thing. All right, so I'm starting the next recording now. So I want to try to like get this set up so that I can really focus on her head. Oh, crap. Yeah, it's mean just a little bit of tilt really just messes everything up. So that's as far as my digital zoom will go. That is it. 
Yeah, I don't have the, a great tripod. I really need to get a better tripod. But you can just see like how she's panting her beak. Like she's really hot right now. So you can she see that she's breathing very rapidly. You can just see all of her feathers move like that. Wow. I'm kind of worried about her actually. And she's looking at me. She is looking at me, right at me, directly at me. <laughs> she has to look at me of all the things that she can look at. I am the one she looked at. She's preening. Let's zoom it out here. Got a. Mmm. Dang it. I can't just. I can't like, get this to lock on a perfect thing here. Zoom out just a little bit more here. All right. There we go. So is the other bald eagle or the other bald eagle parent here? No, I don't see him. The father is out hunting and the mother is just protecting her nest right now. You know, one thing that I always like to do is I always like to leave my mark. Yes, it's actually this right here. This mark. Yes, this is caramel popcorn. I'm going to start throwing it this way. And even some of it behind me too. Okay, so didn't really look like bald eagles doing much, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue on. Continue on, yes. I'm gonna go towards the nest. Right the same place I saw him last time. With that tree branch blocking the view. Well, that's great. Yeah, it's only good when I zoom it in for some reason. Still get a good... Yeah, so I can only record one or the other. You know, um... The 
bald eagle is the other um the bald eagle mother is is on the bear branch but she's just being die bombed by red winged blackbirds oh man dang it There we go. Okay, that's perfect. Couldn't get any more perfect than that. Yes, yeah, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna leave the camera there because I'm gonna. I'm just gonna look at the. Uh, I'm gonna look to see how the other bald eagle is doing. Or the, the mom. <laughs> Hang on.
right, I'm back. And yes, the the mother is still on the bare branch right now. Um, so for the remainder of this video, I'm going to actually go to the bare branch. Because it doesn't look like this bald eagle is doing very much. Um, and I apologize for not getting the whole body of the of the eaglet. But he, but he seems to be doing just the same thing like he's not doing anything at all. Yeah, so I'm going to zoom out here. Me is doing some preening, but that's about it. Nothing really interesting to note. So, uh, all right. So I'm now going to go over to the bear branch. I might have to start another recording for sure. I usually don't end up staying this late, but. Since it seems like there's some action going on here, I might make an exception for today. Whoops. Ah. Uh, so you can see that red winged blackbird right there. So you can see they're flying overhead and down below, but they're not flying like real close to this eagle. See like that, there you go again. Oh man, come on, you stupid camera. Okay, that isn't the mother making that sound then. It's the father. Can I zoom in any further? Yes, I can, yep. It's just, just can't seem to like, keep this in focus or. So you can see that she's got her wings like almost spread out. She's trying to fan herself so that, that way she can keep herself cool. You see? So here comes the train. I just kind of find it interesting that that she fans herself like that. Alright, um, I gotta get going now because I've got work in the morning. And I still need to like edit this video so I can upload it so I don't want to waste any time so I've got to just say goodbye for now and
and until next time, see ya.